So the first question is, how can applicants align their essays with NCR value of diversity at impact? Sure. Um, so NCR's values, uh, diversity and impact. And uh, if you look at NCR's website, I think they very profoundly talk about uh, how much they value and how much effort they put in uh, to ensure uh, that they create a diverse uh, environment for the students to thrive. So uh, I think uh, how to bring a, uh, bring out that uh, aspect in your uh, application and the first step would be to understand how they look at it, right? Just learn about how uh, INSEAD, why does it value diversity so much? And by impact, what do they really mean? So, uh, and by international exposure, what do they really mean? So spend some time on their website uh, uh, and also uh, YouTube has a ton of content around uh, how uh, they look at the values. Uh, in addition to it, if you if you can speak with some of the alumni, that is uh, also really helpful just to understand what uh, you know what kind of uh, like what what kind of personalities are they trying to uh, un uh, look at, and what is it that when they mean uh, diversity, uh, inclusion, global ex uh, global exposure, and impact. So once that's done, I think. Uh, you reflect on your life. Uh, you try to understand um, where, where was, the, where were those situations uh, in your entire life? Uh, what are those peak points or situations which made you, uh, you know, come out of your uh, comfort zone and really interact with people from different backgrounds? It could be uh, diversity, it could be caused by due to due to various things, right? It could be location, uh, different functions, um, and uh, different uh, backgrounds, social backgrounds. So uh, reflect and try to understand what were those places where, you know, you had to work with a variety of people and, uh, you know, you had to take into account the uh, diverse uh, people, diverse sets uh, in the room and accordingly modify your plan in order to ensure that the team, the group as, uh, as a unit thrives. So uh, that uh, is something which uh, NCR definitely values uh, and that also reflects in the class. They ensure like the class composition, they ensure that none of the nationalities go beyond uh, about, I think, 15 percentage. So uh, that is their commitment to diversity. And if you're able to put out examples wherein uh, you have uh, thrived in a diverse environment, uh, I think that uh, that would work in your favor. That's so useful, Richita. The next question is, how can international work experience help applicants stand out at NCR? And adding on to it, Sprupi has asked that how critical is international exposure for the application? Sure. Um, international exposure. So again, uh, what is the goal of asking that question, right? So uh, like I said, uh, NCR values diversity and your ability to work in a variety of environment. And also, uh, NCR is very like uh, global looking. They talk about international exposure a lot and they, they call themselves uh, the business school of the world. Uh, that talks about how uh, their inclination on how they want to create uh, global leaders. And hence, uh, they want to just understand if the applicant, you know, would, would be able to thrive in an international setup. So that is the goal of understanding uh, in the international exposure bit. How can you demonstrate it? It is important uh, to demonstrate this ability to be able to thrive in an international platform. And hence, uh, the international exposure as an aspect is important. Uh, but how do you portray it differs from person to person. So uh, every person's story is different. If you were able to like, if you got an opportunity to work uh, be beyond your home country, I think great. That's the, you know, that's the best way uh, to uh, share uh, how you, how you, how you behave in an, in an international setup. If not, uh, for example, I, I didn't work uh, in any place uh, abroad. However, I had uh, business meetings and seminars. So I used to be out for one week or so. So uh, in at, uh, I used those, like I compiled those uh, like seminars and meetings and assignments uh, that I was uh, out for and uh, put them out as my, uh, like, as my international exposure. Talked about how I grew in that environment. 
also uh, if that also doesn't happen i think i also leveraged uh, the virtual meetings so a lot of us we work uh, out of our home country but we interact with people and teams from different uh, locations right so uh, feel free to talk about it because that is also international exposure you did work with people from different uh, nationalities and that uh, could definitely work in your favor uh, if this also uh, is not there i think i've also uh, heard about applicants um, talk about uh, how they work about diversity uh, uh, with diversity within their own home country so diversity is not just that to location if you're able to do that great because i think you're able to very clearly demonstrate international exposure if not also talk about how uh, you worked uh, in a diverse setup within your own uh, you know uh, space so yeah that is how uh, few points around international exposure really got to know that so we have the next question which is what key questions should candidates prepare for in the ncr interview yeah so uh key questions uh, so uh, first of all uh, ncr interviews are very are slightly different from uh interviews of uh, the other b schools uh ncr interviews have uh, like are two in number so the interview round comprises of two alumni interview so you're not speaking to the admissions officer your admissions officer has already shortlisted you read your application the next step is for ncr alums to speak with you and understand um i think uh, in the last session that they had put up very used a very nice phrase to it so uh, your like understanding the person behind the application right ncr interviews help us uh, uh like help the like the goal of the interview is to understand if the person on the application is uh, is the person they are speaking with so um that uh, is about the interview how do you prepare for it um no not really any new question that you have to prepare for for interview specifically uh the questions are same uh like why like tell me about yourself so you start as an opportunity to summarize your professional side your personal side and why mba if possible and typically these this this tell me about yourself your introduction could be around about for 5 minutes um and after that the set of questions are very similar like why mba why ncr uh and typically the people that you're speaking with are either uh from your current industry or from your target industry so also some conversations around why a specific choice of industry uh post or before mba how does it link and so on so in the uh, interviews would mostly uh, sort of like revolve around this sometimes the conversations also go into understanding your leadership styles so what is your leadership style how would you describe your leadership style i think i had one interview ask a uh, uh, one interviewer asking me that question uh so i think that could be a like few set of questions to prepare for but i think those are typically fluid you don't have to prepare for interviews maybe just you know uh ensuring maybe you can prepare a good tell me about yourself right introduction uh because that is where most of the st- conversations uh stem from the remaining questions you've already you know put in a lot of hard work uh, in during your application phase so just being clear about it helps um that said uh ncr interviews are also about like speaking it's a conversation so while you are giving the answers uh you can also use that as an opportunity to ask the alums that hey how was your you know uh campus life uh i i ended up asking tips <laughs> about what to do before mba or after or during mba uh, from my interview so use that uh, as a platform to also understand uh, they are very keen on you know sharing uh, their experiences and learnings from their experiences so that uh, that is also a way of looking at ncr interviews so yeah i hope that answers the questions <laughs>